The only thing I knew about the, the series of paintings was that they were going to be emotional. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my work over the years, I have tried to involve an intellectual side and an emotional side, sometimes tipping the one or the other. Uh, this, I felt there was, there's nothing intellectual about this. This is entirely emotional. This is how I feel about what happened. I'm only trying to express what I feel about what happened and try to paint what I saw and what, what I felt was going on in the, in the, to these poor people who were suffering. So many instances of people helping each other, leaning on each other to get away. A man and a woman with their arms around each other struggling through the water. These are scenes that, uh, to me, are still very real. Prior to leaving for New York, I had begun, I'm proud of the storm, I had begun a painting with the statue of the Virgin Mary in it, and it was in a, a small cemetery in northern Mississippi. I had painted, painted it before about three times. And uh, I had blocked it in, and there was some of the imagery in there, and there was cotton in the back and trees, and I looked at this statue, and I thought, this has got to be a Katrina painting. And that 
brought me out of out of retirement and plunged me into doing this series of works on this. Once I got into it, I got so excited. And normally, I prepare my paintings quite a bit. I do value drawings. I do color studies before I actually get involved in in the large piece itself. This this work, I just went right into it. I began painting it. I I didn't have any reference material for the for the tombs or anything else. I know them. I mean, I spent my life in, mostly in New Orleans. So I knew what to do, and I, in, I got so inspired by doing it, I knew I had to go forth and then do more. Desperation, which to me is one of the strongest pieces, uh, personally, in the painting. And this lady uh, was actually encountered by my wife and my daughter, who came into New Orleans before I was able to get there, uh, because Lucille had a gallery and has a business. And she uh, lived across the street from a friend of ours, and uh, Stella and Lucille had gone to check on the, her, their friend's house. And uh, they stopped and they chatted with her. And uh, I, from the images that they took on TV, I, I got her. And I wanted to try to get across what it must have felt like to be old, uh, hungry, starving, without anything else, and, and you'd be pretty desperate, I think. Hope. Home for Thanksgiving is another one that was very uh, emotional to me. They were all emotional, but this one was particularly so. And, and the intent in it was to try to capture some people, a man and his mother, in this instance, who had come home from wherever they had been and seen the, and saw their house for the first time and what it must have felt like for so many thousands and thousands of people who experienced that same thing. All right, Death by Drowning is the only oil painting that's in here, and it was one of the last ones, again, that was done. Uh, I had visions of doing a night scene or an evening scene for a long time, and, uh, I, and I had this, uh, as I was working up the painting, it just, just came to me of putting this balustrade in the foreground, which is so typical of early New Orleans architecture. And it's the only painting that actually has a body in it, uh, I didn't put bodies in other, otherwise. I didn't think that was necessary. But again, it's the, 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 the beautiful sunset and what is going on on the ground are quite different from each other. Escape from Eden is uh, somewhat of the same uh, thrust on that, uh, but with the addition of uh, people helping each other, which I thought was the only really uplifting thing that came out of the whole storm was how people helped each other. Push came the shove. That, that is in the Ninth Ward. And there, there are a lot of paintings that are from the Ninth Ward, but it had extremely dramatic imagery. So. For me, this is one of the, the strongest on an emotional side. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and the car actually was there. It did have the door open, the, the buildings. I say that because I move things around and put different things together because I had to exaggerate these scenes. But I did make the hands more clear. I did add the, the, uh, the image of the face that you can see in the mirror there. Uh, again, this is uh, sort of on the theme of Home for Thanksgiving. Uh, this lady returns uh, from wherever she's been, and she sees the destruction and, uh, and devastation that's in her area of the world that she knew. And I, I was out there early, fairly early on, and there was always an overhanging odor. And so she's just got the handkerchief to her face. And I try to capture the emotion entirely in her eyes in this painting, because you can't see her mouth. Exodus Under Deceiving Light. Describe this for us. OK, this, this is one of the last pieces that uh, is in this, was done for the show in Noma. And, uh, the, the light has, uh, in New Orleans, is, is uh, constantly changing, and it can be fabulous, as you know. And it can make ugly things look pretty or mm -hmm. make pretty things look less than pretty. And uh, frequently, I saw instances where the light would be bathing some buildings with its beautiful light and shadow, and then on the ground would be muck and mud and the residue of the storm, trash, cars, tires, and so forth. So it, it, was, uh, it deceived you if you didn't look deeper into the scene itself. So I came up with this idea of using the light on the facades of these buildings and creating the figures and the water and everything else that you see in the painting. Uh, that was not there. Uh, there was no water in the street. None of the figures were there. But I, all the figures you see in these paintings except one came from what I 
took from various television images. Because I wasn't there. I was in Jackson. I couldn't have right. been there. But I, I felt I couldn't do these, this show without putting people in it. We went to Easter, the, the first Easter after the, the storm, and my, uh, excuse me, went to Easter, went to Seattle, mm -hmm. and my son and his family lived out there, and he took us north to a, uh, sailed to a tulip farm. And I was standing in the middle of these acres and acres and acres of tulips, uh, and it was chilly, and we were jacking, and it was fresh air, and I thought to myself where I had been just a few days prior to going out there, what a difference in what I saw and what I felt, and, and we're in the same country. And uh, people there had no idea what was going on in New Orleans. Mm. And New Orleanians certainly couldn't imagine what was happening so in Washington. So certainly you're not just telling our story. In some ways, you're telling your story. Family Reunions was, I think, the last piece for, that I did for the show. And it was a, an attempt to capture the emotion that people felt when they had not when they were lost from each other, and they they found each other again. Mm. That's what that was about. How does this work compare to the early Roland Golden work? Again, a 50-year career. Uh, how does it compare, and what do you think of the quality of it? Well, I think it, as a group of work, it is the best body of work I've put together along on a sim single theme. Mm -hmm. I do think I've done some other very good work, to speak you know, bluntly. I uh, did a series on the demolition by neglect, which was about destroying the CVD, the old buildings, and about tying uh, the Civil War in with other wars. Um, and when my early career, when I finally evolved into the style that we know that I have today, I was very emotionally involved in New Orleans, but eventually gradually moved away and began doing other things. This has brought me back to painting New Orleans again with tremendous emotion. and. As I said in the, the catalog for the show, it's a shame it took such a terrible disaster to cause me to do that. We can only all hope that we do our best work towards the end of our careers, and we certainly hope that you will continue to paint as you just pointed out. Thanks Thank so you much, so Tom. very much. Thank you for a having me. A real pleasure meeting you, and we are honored pleasure. to have you. Thank you so much. Roland Golden. Cat <laughs>